Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, I think this should be my signature for venting videos, like over a million in one thing. So today I'm here to vent about my tattoos in this rainy season and oh my god, I had a really bad experience this morning and I feel like if I don't vent, if I don't talk about it, it's gonna bother me the whole entire day and ruin everything I'm about to do. So right now I'm just seated somewhere in the lab. That's why there's a lot of noise in the background. But then I feel like before I go for this meeting, I have to talk about it. And then, yeah, so. So I'll start with how I woke up this morning. Normally, when I wake up, I just wake up, prepare breakfast. If I have somewhere to go, I just prepare breakfast and then eat and then just leave. But then today I woke up with this hypersensitivity. The first thing I did was like, when I woke up, everything was so dumb. I have a really poor sense of smell. Somebody will tell you I don't smell things. But today for some reason, everything was smelling a certain type of way. Everything was just weird. So I felt like, let me just help my house help and we clean out the house because I had a meeting at 12, 12 noon. So I knew I had extra hours. I woke up around nine. So I had like three hours before I got to the meeting and I decided, let me just clean out the house. So we started cleaning and everything. And by the time I left the house, I was feeling, oh, some freshness. So I prepare nicely, slowly, take my breakfast. Actually, I took a heavy breakfast because I knew the lunch meeting would go over lunch. So I took a really heavy breakfast and I was ready to go. The house is clean. So I took a motorcycle as usual. My motorcycle, guys, hello. And we just went and I was taken to the stage and I boarded a matatu. So this is where now I my story time begins. So when I got into the matatu, I felt a certain you know how you get in and you can smell not dumbness it wasn't dumbness it was like you know how you smell a rat a dead rat somewhere so i felt like ah and then i was like ah, maybe the person sitting next to me just <laughs> had a bad stomach and or maybe something mean because i need to a shooter and so i just decided ah it will be over in a few minutes so i sat kidogo kidogo we the person seated next to me just alights and then i go back into the car and it smells worse than it actually did and i was like how if it's not that guy who was next to me what is going on kidogo kidogo you know how the conductor tells you songa songa hapa madam nikai hapo so me i songaid and then he sat there and then i was like like i literally was sniffing him to to make sure he's not the one who's smelling like that and then i was like oh my god his hoodie his hoodie was so dumb. I was like, maybe he was rained on yesterday night or during work at one point or another or in the morning. And then, you know how wet clothes smell? So I was like, oh, maybe that is what he's smelling. But I was like, no. Yeah, you don't smell fresh, but the, the car too has something going on with it. And it really bothered me. Wait, just a second after I had just thought like that, the, we go to the next stage and then this mama just walks in and she's wearing these perfumes i sincerely don't know where they get them where do you get these perfumes like on top of the dead rat smell now there was another whole perfume smell and i i, I told you how much breakfast i ate so now my stomach has started like bloating like i have a whole gas Thing going on in my stomach now and I'm feeling like the next thing I'm gonna puke so I was like what is going on thank God thank God she, she was like about a hundred meter right thing and then she alighted but then now that sorry that rat smell that distinct smell was just still there and I couldn't get it off so I'm like is it the chairs and then it hit me maybe it's how people are being rained on outside and then they come in and the 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 chairs soak the water like from your clothes but then the car doesn't have time to dry off so they keep carrying people they keep carrying people and the car gets dumb and so for a minute I actually thought I'm pregnant you know <laughs> How, how pregnant women get all sensitive about everything, hyper senses, you can see things that others are not here seeing, you can hear things. Me actually now, 
Was it not for the fact that I was sure I'm not? I actually thought I would have thought I am. Anyway, but talking of my tattoos, I don't know how we are going to cope during this rainy season. Like just the other day, let me just give another storyline inside this one. On Saturday, I, I didn't tell you the story of how Sato was. But then we were coming from this wedding and it was raining cats and dogs. Like literally raining. So we are all soaked. And then you know how you get in a matatu and you find the car the car seat that is most comfortable that no one will disturb you a lot. So we go like direct to a seat at the corner there. And then who will tell you? Who will tell you the car is not raining? The car is raining as if you're outside. Like in Anyesha, I swear to God, it was raining as if we were outside. It was actually, I think, worse than outside because the water was colder. Outside, at least, there was this whole shower thing going on. Like a lot of rain is raining on you and you can't feel the cold. Now you're inside the car, it's warm, and then you're being dripped on by cold water. So we had to change seats. So we change seats, and then now we look up, and the car is like, you see the top board of the car? It is just torn up. Like it was torn apart, like ripped apart. You see how like if a house is is having water leak in and then the ceiling is a cardboard one, how it tears apart, that's how the car was looking like. So you can imagine water is raining. You inside the car, but it's raining. It's raining. Oh my god. And then I'm here struggling to take this the, the photos so that at least if I ever did this video, I knew I would post those photos. So I hope I still have them. I'll share them somewhere. But really, I am dreading for the time that this rain will get worse because our cars are worse. Oh my god, they're getting worse every day. And I don't know, it's not our fault, it's not the fault of the drivers or the conductors, and we still have to commute. But oh my god, today I have a bloated stomach right now. I'm still not even sure whether I'll be able to sit through that meeting because I'm, I still feel I'm, I keep on belching, belching, belching. Because it was a really bad experience in the morning. Like, I am still convinced that there was a dead rat in that car. I swear I'm still convinced there, is a, there was a dead car. There was a dead rat in that car. It was smelling so bad. At, and I know by the time I'm done with this video, somebody or someone, one of you will be like, see by your own car. CJ, oh, God knows I want a car. God knows I want a car. And I don't have enough money. I'm so broke right now. I can't Uber to the places. But then... I love being driven. I love my tattoos. I really love my tattoos and the dramas that go on with my tattoos. So, yes, I'll buy my own car. Yes, one day I'll be able to Uber anywhere I want. But for now, I have the right to rent. I have the right to complain. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I really hope you have a good day. Bye, guys. And I love you so much. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like my videos and comment. Yeah. And hit the notification button, too. Thank you. See you next time. Oh, yeah. Here are the car with the photos. Yeah, this is actually a car. I'm inside a car right now. So, yeah, there you are. And yay, my company for that day. So, bye bye. Thanks for watching.